Hi, my name is Tom Coltman and I'm coach of Team Canada from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. We had the privilege recently to interview the Team Jacobs curling team who will be representing Canada at the Olympics. So over the next five weeks we will be featuring one-on-one -on -one interviews with the members of the team. On this week's segment, I had the opportunity to sit down with Tom Coulterman, coach of Team Jacobs. We discussed his career, the team, and his upcoming trip to the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. Some of the memorable moments, uh, the first one was probably 1980 when uh, one of the girls teams that I coached at the high school, we won the All Ontario High School Girls Championship. In uh, 1991, in 19, 1991, another uh, girls team that I coached won the very first ever Northern Ontario Junior Women's Curling Championship. Up to that point, Northern Ontario did not have a team on the, on the uh, Junior Women's side for the uh, Junior Nationals. And then the next year we went back to the Junior Nationals with exactly the same team and they won the silver medal. What's the relationship like between you and the team? Great. I, uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, the uh, part that I've been with them probably has diminished a little bit because they've, uh, as they've grown and matured in the game, they've needed less and less from me probably. Uh, so, and we've got other people that are involved in other aspects of their uh, development. For, for example, sports psychologist Arthur Perlini and now Kyle uh, Gauthier from the CCA. Uh, we've got uh, Alan Rick, the, the uh, Har Harnins, who help a lot with uh, the boys' development too, so it's been great. Did you ever think you'd uh, have a chance to be an Olympian? Absolutely not. This is a dream come true. It has been one of those things I keep pinching myself when I wake up in the morning. Is it really happening? Um, I never would have expected. You know, you watch all the Olympics, you watch the opening ceremonies, and you think, geez, it would be really nice to walk into those ceremony or into that stadium for those opening ceremonies. Never expecting that this would ever happen. And, and what do you think it's going to be like representing Canada and what does it mean to you? It means a lot. It, uh, it's one of those things. I've done it for a number of years with the Team Canada Juniors. I've worn the Team Canada sweater on my back as a team leader for the juniors. Uh, wore the, ja the Team Canada jacket last year when we went to the Worlds. And uh, this one though, to me this is, this is special. This is one of the ultimate uh, things you get to do walking into the uh, Olympic Stadium with the, uh, all, the team can, all the Team Canada athletes from all the different winter sports. I think it's just great. What do you do in your downtime away from the game to relax? Uh, my wife and I in the summertime we golf. I like to fish in the wintertime. Uh, I do work around the house in terms of I'm shoveling snow and I'm out there doing that sort of thing around the house. Uh, those are my main things. I do a lot of still other types of curling. I do uh, instructional curling at the club with, I run an adult learn to curl league now and I've done that ever since I retired. And uh, that one has, I really enjoyed working in that particular program. And if you could thank the Sioux for their support, what would you say to Sioux St. Marie? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It has been one great opportunity uh, for me to meet a lot of people in the Sioux. Uh, they come up to you, they tell you how much they've enjoyed watching the boys curl, uh, and they're not even curlers. Uh, they've given a tremendous amount of support to the team. It, uh, you just can't imagine what it means to this city uh, to have this team at this particular point going to the Olympics as Team Canada. And I just can't thank the Sioux enough for the support that they've given them and they've given me all the way through this, this whole process. I hope you enjoyed this week's Team Jacobs Player Profile. Next week, we'll have a feature interview with lead Ryan Harden. For Shaw TV, I'm Greg Seiler.